Welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. It's early this morning, so I thought that I would have some coffee and sit down and have a little chat about how to get started on a whole food plant based diet and just give a few tips that I think would be beneficial. <clears throat> and that's with any diet, before you totally transition into a plant based diet, you want to talk to your physician and make sure that that is the right choice for you. That is something that I actually did, and I had 100% support from my doctor. First, what is a whole food plant based diet? It is a lifestyle and it is eating or consuming foods in the same way that nature packaged them basically. Um, they spoil quickly, they have a minimal list of ingredients and most of the time they come without labels. I mean, it's unrealistic to think that everything that you buy is gonna come without a label, but that is the main goal is to just eat foods in the wholest form possible. And it's gonna be plant-based as in it's going to come from a plant, whether that is grains or vegetables or starches or beans, legumes, those kinds of things, that's where you're going to get all of your nutrition from on a whole food plant-based diet. Processed foods, on the other hand, are completely the opposite of what I just described. The majority of the time, they no longer res resemble the food that they actually came from, and they have a lot of extra ingredients and preservatives and all kinds of things added to them, and they are very shelf-stable. They do not spoil easily, and these are the foods that you want to avoid. Main tip whenever starting with a whole food plant based diet is to know that whenever you're starting a new lifestyle, it can be very hard to make changes sometimes. And don't be hard on yourself. So don't strive for perfection, just strive to do. Um, even if you are going to just say choose a certain meal on a certain day of the week and eat a whole food plant-based meal that day only, then that's totally fine. Or you can choose a certain meal every day of the week, or you can choose certain days of the week. I mean, you may be one of those people that likes to go all in, and you can do that as well. But whatever you decide to choose, don't think that you have to be perfect in doing it, because making little incremental changes add up to big changes in the end. Don't be hard on yourself, be kind always. It's simple. So whenever you're implementing a lifestyle change as big as going whole food plant-based because most of us eat the standard American diet, it can be a very big change. And if you keep it simple, it makes life so much easier and switching to a brand new lifestyle a whole lot better. You may want to Pick a few meals that you know that you would really love and just prepare those several times for dinner and just keep it really simple like grains and beans or make um, Texas hash which is basically a skillet chili and it even includes the rice so it's a quick and easy meal that you can make and uh, let it stretch out over the week. Um, something as simple as a whole wheat pizza with all of your favorite vegetable toppings and that is something pretty easy and quick to put, put on to the table. So whatever you decide to do, make a list of three to five meals that you really enjoy. Try those out. And tip number three, I would recommend to perimeter shop the grocery store. Most of your whole foods are going to be found around the outside perimeter of the grocery store. And um, you want to stay away from the middle aisles because that is where most of the processed foods live. <laughs> and just shop for fresh whole foods and stick to your list. So that was just some quick thoughts that I had on into a whole food plant-based diet. Uh, tips that I hope will help you while starting your journey out and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thank you for spending some time with me this morning and as always thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.